Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Castle. I'm a general surgeon with Mayo Clinic Health System. Uh, I've been working here for six years. Um, I have a background in general surgery, uh, trauma, and surgical critical care. So um, there's two sets of veins in the legs. There's a deep system and a shallow system. The shallow system um, is reliant on valves on the inside of the vein to uh, pump blood against gravity. Um, in patients with varicose veins and venous reflux, typically we'll uh, find that their valves are not working properly and the blood is flowing the wrong direction rather than up the leg, down the leg. That excess blood will then go into side branches which plump up and become varicose veins. It also drives excess fluid into the tissues uh, in the lower legs causing the achiness, heaviness, tiredness, restless legs, the swelling, and uh, the skin changes that we see. Um, unfortunately, it's a, um, what can be considered a chronic illness in that we're not actually fixing the ultimate problem, which is the little valves in the veins not working. Um, there's no way to replace those. There's millions of them. And, uh, and so what, what we're dealing with is the consequences of those uh, valves not working. Uh, that's why we will typically see patterns in families uh, um, where parents and grandparents also dealt with varicose veins. Um, typically, um, I strongly encourage patients who are candidates to get the uh, endovenous ablation, the, the minimally invasive procedure, just because it works so well and uh, the recovery is so quick and, uh, um, and patients are very happy after they have it done. Uh, there are multiple options. Uh, they range from the non-invasive, which typically is compression stockings uh, and elevation, as well as lifestyle modification. Um, the most popular procedure here for varicose veins is uh, endovenous ablation, which is a minimally invasive procedure to close down uh, painful varicose veins. Um, we also perform sclerotherapy, which is uh, injection of individual varicose veins uh, that often has uh, quite good results for patients as far as uh, symptom resolution. Uh, a lot of what uh, patients don't realize is that uh, varicose vein disease is not only um, the bulging varicose veins, but also uh, has symptoms such as achiness, heaviness, tiredness, restless legs, uh, as well as uh, skin thickening, skin changes, swelling, um, and pain. Uh, the procedures that we offer are often quite successful at uh, resolving those symptoms, um, and uh, I've never met a patient who has been unhappy that they've uh, uh, received care from us. The uh, ablation procedure is done on a same-day basis. Uh, patients will go home that same day. Uh, we bring the patients to the operating room. Uh, they receive some light sedation and uh, uh, then use ultrasound to map out the vein system in their legs. I'll usually uh, make a small incision in each leg uh, just below the knee to access, provide access for the catheter. Uh, the catheter is then fed up into the vein on the inside um, and uh, we then uh, inject some solution around the uh, vein itself uh, so that the catheter doesn't affect anything but the vein. Um, we don't want to harm any other uh, surrounding tissues. Um, the uh, catheter is then used to treat the veins from the inside. It's removed, we put a small dressing on, patient wakes up, uh, they recover with us for a little while and then go home. Um, patients are typically back to their normal activities that evening or the next day. Sclerotherapy is usually a, a follow-up treatment uh, for any residual varicose veins that aren't controlled with the minimally invasive uh, vein ablation procedures. Um, that's performed in clinic. Uh, there's no sedation required. Uh, it's in, uh, injection of a uh, irritant into the vein itself uh, um, or into individual varicose veins themselves um, and uh, causes the vein to close up uh, um, it uh, usually doesn't have many side effects. Uh, it's a very low complication procedure, and uh, um, it's uh, usually a multiple session. Uh, yep, spider veins are included uh, in the same family. It's kind of the same spectrum of disease. Uh, spider veins just happen to be smaller, more shallow veins uh, than the larger varicose veins. Um, typically, those will improve after um, performing uh, endovenous ablation procedures. Um, if, uh, if they don't resolve completely, uh, sclerotherapy is a an excellent uh, treatment for those. Uh, that's a, vein stripping is a more involved procedure. Um, it uh, typically requires um, making multiple incisions and uh, actually removing the vein physically from the leg. Um, the recovery time is a little bit longer um, 
and uh, the good news is is that typically, uh, or nowadays, uh, most patients are candidates for the minimally invasive procedure. Um, I would say uh, the vast majority of my patients uh, tell me that their legs feel much better even that evening or the day after surgery. Um, there is uh, some achiness in the thighs. It uh, feels like some bruising. Um, it's typically fairly mild um, and controlled with uh, over-the-counter pain medications. Patients do not need a referral. Uh, they can schedule directly uh, with our clinic. Um, typically, um, uh, our physician assistant will do the initial consultation to see if patients are indeed uh, a candidate uh, for ongoing therapy. Um, and uh, so it's a fairly easy way to, if uh, patients are on the fence or unsure, to um, get some more information and uh, be evaluated.